So to start this video, I kind of wanted to show you, well, we're going to get into Friday and Saturday. I'm trying to remember what the heck went on Sunday. <laughs> I think it might have been just working on the room all day. But let's uh, let's just kind of show you around. Um, so, I mean, it's pretty damn nice accommodations, although I'm paying through the nose for it. Um, this is where they, when they kicked me out of rehab, uh, this is where I it ended up. And there's, that's going to be a story in and of itself. That's going to be just, just a few seconds along. So, uh, you know, pretty nice, man. You got your own, I got to do these dishes. Uh, no matter, I, granted, I could load them in here uh, to do. I bought some, uh, this was a Walmart order that came in yesterday. Uh, so I've got some pretzels and some Cheetos and then uh, the fridge here. Um, got a pizza with some TV dinners. Um, so, you know, because I'm here, uh, right now I can't eat or drink anything until I see the doc today, find out if I need another parasite. So, Sentesis, I think I pronounced that right. So there's some cranberry juice. Uh, I've got a couple salads. Uh, there's my prune juice, trying to keep the the, the bowels moving along. Uh, and uh, oh, and then there was also some prune juice in there. So then this is the uh, this is the catheter area uh, where I got to get up every four hours. That's why I said there's really no night and day on this schedule. Uh, this is actually an antiseptic rinse uh, for, for the teeth, which is actually pretty good. I'm hoping my um, my mom's best friend will bring me up my razor. They might have thrown it away when they sold my mom's house. Uh, so this is some lubrication. These are the um, sterilization cloths, and that's a hand sanitizer, and that's your cath kit. You just keep it all there. And then this is some uh, sensitive skin body wash uh, that I'm going to use eventually to get a shower but here let's look at me in the mirror man I tell you I didn't want you to see me naked from the top down but anyway I, I'm just walking around that gives you the whole collar what it looks like uh, man I tell you I woke up last night about two in the morning man I, I was sweating big freaking time my neck itched all around the collar and I do have permission to take it off to shave so I took it off to just clean or wipe down my neck and try to get some of the itching to go away. Now this is a setup that I've done. I think it's pretty freaking cool. That table right there, I apologize for the lighting. This is the best that I can do. And I did up the uh, the brightness on the GoPro. So we'll see how it turns out. Uh, of course, there's the walker and the wheelchair. And uh, boy, I tell you, this, I love the setup for me, okay? Cause I can't really roll around on the bed. And uh, so I got it all set so that my head rests right between them pillows because I got to wear the collar when I go to bed. Um, and then this is this is another area that uh, worked out real well. Check out my improv for the medications because uh, I don't have a pill box. My, uh, my mom's best friend, I think they threw that away along with my razor, along with my tooth, bro. I don't know what the hell. I guess when a, when a real estate agent goes to sell a house, they just throw everything in the garbage. So anyway, there's all the, uh, some of the medications I'm on, but these are the important ones that I've got I've already used one of them um, suppositories. Uh, hey man, let's. Show, I gotta show you that device. <laughs> all right, man, all you men out there, you know, I mean, now women go through a hell of a lot worse than men. I'm just gonna tell you, check this thing out, man. So you grip on that thing and you get that suppository in there. And of course I just lube it up with this, this stuff right here in that little blue pouch. And then you get you get it in down underneath in that butt crack and the, see how it's on a spring look at that see you see it's how it's on a spring you get that up the bung hole and boom you got a suppository in you uh man i'm going to tell you it's uncontrollable either sit on the toilet for a half an hour or just plan on uh changing changing that diaper so that's uh, that's about it now i will tell you a little bit about last night so i i get back from that long ass hike I am just freaking worn out. I gotta do my meds. I'm laying everything out and make sure the blood pressure meds are on there so that I know what I take and when. And if you, if you look at it, I've got it all written down here. This is uh, Metam the Metamucil I have, that's the Gavo, yeah, Gabobectin. So eight, 1600, 2400, I just put the pills on the towel and that way I keep track of everything rather than having a pill box. I thought that was pretty ingenious, you know? So if you do have some medications, just get you a piece of paper, write it all down, and put the pills on there. Um, these mats right here, these are absorbent mats. 
in case I poop on something in the room. I've never peed on anything, you know, as long as I stay steady with the cathin. Uh, now you do get some leakage into the uh, the diaper. And these are all the meds. Uh, I had some, because uh, I laid in a hospital bed for two months. And so you do develop those sensitive areas. Uh, and the, so this is all the skin therapy stuff that they sent me home with. Uh, this is that um, the shower wash. Uh, and then those are eye drops back there because my eyes got all dried out in the hospital. I don't know what that was about. Um, so, uh, and then the last thing, so last night I, I realized I had to go to the dock today, but look at the, look at all the clothes that fit. That pair of pants, that pair of shorts. Well, I wear these little socks around the room because if my feet get cold and that shirt right there, that's it. That's it, baby. That's all the clothes I got. <laughs> now I got some on order. All right. So I'm, I'm going to set up the GoPro right here now see here's my laptop uh these are two backup drives i'm trying to get all of the videos by the way if i uh, if you have a clue i made a hiking video and for some reason it had no sound and i thought it was the vlc player on the uh, computer um but uh it wasn't um because you know when i play other videos it works fine so i don't know how the gopro maybe there's a setting on here that says no sound or it was a hot day. Maybe I overheated the GoPro or something. I, I didn't make sense. Uh, we'll see. With the, with, at least with this video, I can always remake it. All right, so let's get going. I got to tell you about Friday and Saturday. And I swear, I, I man, I, I damaged the brain when I fell down them stairs. I don't even remember what the hell Sunday was. So let's get going on the story. I'm going to set it up right here, move the table out of the way. By the way, this little stool is great for putting my feet on. And Oh, I did want to show you these. You know, So I've got the... Ultra absorbs uh, on the chair. I got them in the bed. I got them on you know where I sit on the sofa So, uh, you know, the hotel is safe. They are totally safe uh, You know if, if, uh, if I lose control uh, And by the way, my, my mom's best friend and can't see them down there But those are two sandals and uh, those are working out great. I just got to get them toenails got to get to a pedicures This is the this thing that goes around my middle to try to help uh, get the blood pressure up along of course those meds good lord they, those meds are some of the strongest blood pressure medication according to the people at cvs all right so let's get let's get the tripod set up and i'm going to tell my story all right so we'll see how this turns out this first time using the gopro uh, since that hiking video where i didn't get any sound in the video um so I switched the, uh, um, that's, you know, that's an important thing if you're making a video like I am with the tripod is you got to switch the speaker on whatever um, technique you're using, uh, standard or, um, I can't remember, there's a couple of other ones. Uh, uh, so I switched the speaker from the front to the back um, and I've, I've, I've still got the uh, dead cat on there so that might limit the sound quality a little bit. Hopefully the lighting's pretty good. Uh, like I said, I upped the brightness. Uh, uh, to, from 0.5 to 1. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to, to tell the story about Friday and Saturday. So I, uh, they dump me off from the hotel. The, the, the Uber picks me up. Um, they bring me here to the hotel and uh, they, they you know, drop me off. My broad, poor guy, man, he brought in all my bags. They had me up on the fourth floor of the hotel and uh, we, the Uber guy gets up there, you know, and I haven't got any cash, you know, so I'm kind of screwed. All I can do is just tip them through uh, Uber, and uh, Uber says they get all the money, so hopefully they got the whole $5 tip. Uh, and we got up there, and he just parked the bags in the room, and that's when I walked around. It wasn't a handicapped room, and so I just showed you the room here. Um, so uh, I called down the front desk. I said, look, I need a handicap room. You know, I don't know. I can't. I, I got to have a place to sit in the shower. And I, uh, oh yeah, well, you know, you're right. I said, well, I called this in a week ago, man. You guys promised me a handicap room. And, well, you know, just sit tight. Are you okay? Can you just hang out in the room up there? I said, well, no, I'm fine. I said, I can just sit here and watch uh, TV. I think my, the US, uh, USFL might have been on or whatever uh, in the new uh, football league, which I've been enjoying, by the way. I was rooting for Tampa Bay, of course. Um, so I watched some, some football. I, I can't wait, you know, if I do get better, I, Next year, I want to go to some of those football games because I, I bet the price is right. And I love watching these young players. And I say young. I mean, some of them are from the NFL. They're just doing that for, uh, you know, try to get back in shape, get, get to where, you know, it's kind of like the minor leagues and the major leagues. I think that's what they're going to try to use that new football league for. 
Anyway, getting back to uh, Friday, so they call up about uh, five o'clock and they said, well, we, we got a handicap room and they brought me down here and, uh, you know, so I got all my bags and threw them around the room and, uh, and then adios. Uh, so I spent the evening uh, as best I could. Like I said, I was on, I had low, I had low blood, blood pressure because I didn't have any meds. Uh, so I said, you know, of course the pharmacy was open till eight o'clock that night, but when I called the pharmacy, they said that uh, my order wasn't ready. So what's the point? You know, I'm, I'm going to Uber all the way across town to pick up a, a, a prescription that's not quite ready. Um, by the way, this is, is this the most ridiculous? <laughs> this is a triple extra large shirt, and I still can't pull it, the collar. I mean, this is what I was trying to explain to my uh, mom's best friend, who I'm trying to get to bring up some clothes and stuff. You know, I can't get it over top of the collar. You know, anyway, so I've got to have some sort of button up. Uh, to come up from the bottom, and then I won't show you the pendulous belly. Uh, hopefully, a paracentesis. I got to talk to the doc today. All right, so um, Saturday comes around, and I'm mad on a mission. Now it takes a while. Like like I said, there's there's no night, there's no day uh, as far as the schedule goes. You know, you've got you've got meds every four hours, you got meds every eight hours. So the alarm goes off every four hours. Uh, then of course you got your peak, well your your cath call. Because uh, I do get the urge, and in fact, I just did a thousand milliliters. Hey, isn't that amazing that they measure everything in the metric system? When are we just going to convert over to that? So I, you know, that. So you got to get that done, and then you got to see if anything might come out, you know. And uh, so it takes a while to get ready in the morning. And in fact, I got to get down to the continental breakfast because it closes at nine o'clock. So I'm going to try to make the, get this going along. So. Um, I, uh, I knew I had to go get that, and so finally about, I guess it took me till about noon, because uh, me taking care of everything uh, around the room, I was still putting stuff away, uh, just getting out what I could, what I could do. Uh, I finally got the Uber here uh, right around noonish, you know, and so they took me all the way, all the way across town. Why the hell did them stupid rehab center that like i told you they get paid two thousand three hundred dollars a day to be the most fucked up people in the whole damn world? Holy moly, what a waste of money, Medicare. Give the money to me. I guarantee you I could spend it one hell of a lot better and get a hell of a lot better treat. There's supposedly some PT guys that are going to call me today, and uh, they might come in a half an hour. What the fuck are they going to do in a half an hour? I can get my ass down to the gym, and I can get myself out and hike a quarter of a mile or a half a mile. You know what them fuckers are going to do? They're going to come in here with the little football and or the, bat, the ball, and they're going to say, squeeze it between your legs. Squeeze it between your legs. And then they'll give you this uh, one of these little tapes, and they'll wrap it around your legs, and they say, well, do this for a while. Do this for a while. It'll be probably be like three fucking people earning money, and then they'll say, well, that's it for today. We're going to see you later. You know, until we, we're only coming three times a week, you know, and, I, and of course I'll ask them some questions. I'm hoping I might get some uh, diapers out of them or something fucking useful, you know. But uh, that, what a waste that is. And then, of course, when they're gone, I'll just head on down to the gym. Now, i got a broken collarbone right here, so I can't do anything with the right hand, but I could probably do some dumbbell work with the left hand. Uh, well, I, if, if things go well at the doctor's office, I'm going to hike over to get the pedicure. So that'll be all the exercise I need for the whole damn day. Um, so getting back to the story. Uh, so I get to the, the pharmacy and I, they had this whole flight of stairs for, to, for you to fucking climb up. Remember that Rocky movie where, you know, he climbs up the thing and he's jumping up and down at the top. That's about what I'm looking at. And I'm going, God dang, I'm going to fucking, because I got no blood pressure medication. So I'm going to fucking die trying to climb these damn stairs. So I, I, I turned around backwards and I just took the walker and I would go up one stair at a time and I'd hold on to that railing, but I'm getting dizzy, you know, and I'm thinking, oh, please, God, don't, I said, if I start, if I start feeling like I'm going down, I was just going to kind of sit backwards and just sit on the stairs. That, that was my plan. I, whether it would have worked or not, I don't know. But anyway, short story long, I'm still here. I made it to the top of the stairs, but I couldn't go no further. I, I'd climbed more stairs that fucking day than I did three fucking weeks in rehab. Them stupid sons of bitches. So anyway, I get to get to the wall and I'm leaning against the wall and I'm just thinking, and man, I am spinning. If you ever drink moonshine, I have. I've been a couple NASCAR races. I'm gonna tell you what, I moonshine doesn't even hold a candle to low blood pressure. I'm sitting there like, holy moly! I bet it took me five, ten minutes, and finally the things got under control. So now I've got to get into the pharmacy, and of course the, the damn pharmacy is all the way in the back, and uh, I give. By Charles, the, the uh, pharmacy, this was a big one. 
I mean, it was kind of, a, it looked like a warehouse, man, because you had to go down the aisle and then you had to go up this ramp, you know, and, and then another whole level. And so finally I got back and they had one of them gates that comes down. Uh, and luckily I'm the only person there, thank God. And I sit down and the guy's working behind the counter. Of course, they work the shit out of everybody. And, uh, you know, he said, so finally, you know, I've been there about, I don't know, half an hour, 20 minutes. I said, excuse me, excuse me. Because I'm sitting down, I got my feet elevated. By the way, the sides on that walker, you can just put your feet just like that because, you know, it's real important when you're spinning, you know, to get that the blood flowing from the legs to the upper body. So uh, he says, yeah. I said, I, I said well, you know, I'm, I am, I'm waiting here. I said, you know, I said, I know I'm sitting down instead of standing up because he says, all right, all right, no problem. You know, he says, uh, he says, he says, I got, uh, he says, I got your order right here. Uh, he says, uh, he, he says, are you the delivery that I had uh, over to uh, that home, the suites or whatever? I said, yeah, well, maybe. I said, I don't know. I said, I want to go through it because they keep calling in stupid shit that I don't need and I don't want, you know. I said, I said, I want to make sure that everything's okay. That's why I'm here. Uh, I said, man, it was a, I could, you know, I couldn't give him the whole story. What a bitch it was getting there. And of course, the Uber driver didn't speak. English. That was a funny story in and of itself. He's, a, he's driving along, and I, I was trying to make conversation. I was going to talk about the movie Unbreakable because I'm Mr. Glass, and of course, Bruce Willis was the Unbreakable one because uh, it seems like every time I turn around, I'm in a damn hospital. But uh, so the guy, you know, he, he, he says, well, you know what? He says, I, I don't have a prescription for you. I don't have anything. You know, I said, well, wait a minute. Let me let me dial your number on the phone. So I dial his number on the phone. And what it does, it says, you have a prescription waiting at, you know, whatever, 127 Main Street. I said, well, you know what? It's telling me on the phone when I dial in that I got a prescription waiting for me. You want to listen to the message? No, no, no. Then, they, then thank God, my damn um, mom's best friend had paid me a visit. Uh, now, she didn't bring me much of what I needed, but that's okay. She, she got the essential things, the computer, uh, and then, of course, my wallet and my IDs and my credit cards. And uh, so the guy goes, you got an ID? Because it sounded like without an ID, he wasn't even going to give me the fucking time of day. So I said, yeah, I got an ID. I gave him a Florida driver's license, uh, free state of Florida. And, uh, and then he goes, well, what is your, you got your Humana card? I gave him my Humana card. I would have thought he had all that fucking information. So, you know, and he goes back and uh, he's clicking around, you know, and uh, in the meantime, I'm looking at the prescription and, uh, and I'm looking at it. None of the shit is, is, was on my list. <laughs> I'm thinking, man, did the doctors change up every fucking thing? I, no blood pressure medication, no, no nerve medication, no uh, muscle medication to help me move the bowels, you know. I'm thinking, what the fuck is all this? I, and then I look at the name on the prescription, Kelly Hamilton. Destined for you know my hotel room here at home to suites. I'm like, well, who the fuck is Kelly Hamilton? You know, I said, so I'm hot. I said, excuse me, excuse me. Uh, this prescription here is for Kelly Hamilton, and I uh, he, he says, well, isn't that you? I said, no, my name's Kirk Ellis. You know, I said, what the hell? I said, you know, he, he's like, he says, well, you know, hold on, let me look this up in the computer, you know, and he says, oh yeah, I, I found it, you know, he says, it's been called in twice, he says, that's why there was some confusion, and he says, I don't know why they wanted that, that Kelly Hamilton, that prescription to go to your hotel. I said, so wait a minute, let me get this straight, if I had called and just had you deliver the medications without taking an Uber ride over here, I would have gotten the wrong prescriptions, and then what would I have done? He says, well, we would have had to, you know, take them back, and that there would have been surcharges involved, and blah, 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 blah. So then he brings out my prescriptions, and I give him back Kelly Hamilton's prescriptions, and uh, I said, well, let me look through these, you know, and of course, they get Tylenol in there. I'm not supposed to be taking Tylenol. They got Tums in there, you know, for gas. I suppose I'm supposed to have gas pain. Ain't, ain't no fucking gas pain in two and a half months. That's how stupid them sons of bitches are. Then they got the Lomax for injecting your stomach for uh, blood clots. That's if you're not, if you know, if you're laying idle in the bed 24 hours a day, that's very important to have that. I just, you know, I'm hiking, you know, quarter, half a mile a day, getting in the weight room, doing all kinds of stuff. I don't need no damn Lomax. What I'm taking is a little baby aspirin. I got my own regimen now. Uh, that will thin your blood a little bit. I, I didn't get it there. I got it the other day or um, yesterday. So, uh, so I, I gave him back. I said, what's going to happen to all this stuff? I mean, I, I bet I saved myself at least $300 in co-pays on a bunch of prescriptions that I would have never used. And this and it would have ended up in the garbage because what are you going to do? You can't, once it leaves CVS Pharmacy, if they were doing a delivery, for example, you're fucked. You're fucked. You can't send it back. You know, 
So thank God, I mean, good Lord, I mean, the override cost me, you know, maybe because the override, okay, it's a very short distance. You know, it's only like a couple of miles from the hotel, but this is downtown Charlottesville. So it might take you a half an hour to travel a mile or two because there's a stoplight on every corner and students are going back and forth through the walkway and everything. So, you know, it was like a $15 override there and $15 coming back. And uh, anyway, that's $30 out of pocket, but I saved uh, 300 easily, plus I got exactly what I needed. Except for the one thing, there was no fucking blood pressure medication. <laughs> God dang. He says, we're out. He says, I'll have some more in on Monday. I said, well, look, I know there's a CVS pharmacy near me at the hotel. I said, why can't I just go there? And, and the guy goes, he says, well, you can. He says, I, he says, but he says, they called in two accounts for you and this Kelly Hamilton. He says, I, I can't do that during the day because I've got to help people. There's only one guy working the pharmacy, uh, typical. And, uh, and so he says, um, he says, I'll have to fix it tonight after hours. Uh, he, says, he says, but I need your permission. I said, God damn, you have my permission. Hell yeah, excuse me, Lord, I didn't mean to say it. Gosh darn, you got my permission. I said, yeah, please fix it, man. I said, and send the prescription over to the pharmacy near me. Uh, and so that I can go there uh, whenever they're open, which they did, like I said yesterday, they were open Monday. Even though it was a holiday, I didn't know it was a damn holiday. I mean, good God, Biden, I mean, you know, how many federal holidays are we going to have? We're, we're actually going to end up with like half the year being holidays so the federal employees don't have to work. Uh, you know, that's only half the, the employees in the nation. But uh, I think that shit's going to change here shortly. It's, it, uh, that, that whole, that whole system is going to come crashing down. So, uh, so anyway, I get back to my hotel and uh, the story goes on from there. And I got to... I somehow I've, in my brain I'm drawing a blank about what happened from that point on but this video is long enough let's do the mantra freedom of freedom good to someday get back to the free state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis and if you're a Democrat stay the hell out of Florida because uh, I'm hopefully going to by the way I see the doc on um, the 6th I said the 8th in the previous video, it's the 6th, and uh, hopefully I'll get this off and I'll be able to drive, and uh, I, 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 I can't wait. I mean, I, I tell you what, when I, cross, when I cross the fucking Virginia border, I'll probably, I gotta, I'm probably going to make a video about it. I'm going to get out the car and I'm going to film it. I, I'm going to feel like I just crossed from Czechoslovakia into free, uh, you know, a free territory uh, back during World War II when the Soviet Union was in control. So, uh, so that's it. Uh, by the way, you know, be sure. I think Illinois, uh, California, New York, that's a great place for Democrats to be. Don't stay in Florida. Get the hell out of Florida. You know you're going to hate it there. I, I, now we got more Republicans than Democrats, you know. Plus, you know, we can bitch at you about everything. Let's see, you got Afghanistan, inflation. Uh, you got uh, high gas prices. Uh, you got an idiot for president. I mean, you know, we, you can go on and on. If you're a Democrat, please, God, put a, put a comment below and tell me one good damn thing that that uh, Brandon has done in the White House. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see how it turns out. I'm hoping, I'm hoping because, by the way, the last video I made was with the GoPro that had no uh, uh, volume. And I, so I hope my GoPro is not broke. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's finish up this video because I'm going to gross you guys out. You don't want to hear this. Cut the video off now. Anyway, uh, thank God for the shower. I uh, hadn't had a shower probably in a couple, couple three weeks. Uh, and I've been planning to get in there and get one. It's just, you know, you only got so much energy during the day. And, you know, you got my story. I mean, the main thing was to get them blood pressure medication. So I can only do so much every damn day. And you only have so much energy. Anyway, I'm coming back from the damn continental breakfast, and uh, I had to look at here. God dang it. Excuse me, Lord, and gosh darn it. Looks like I got poop on the shirt. So anyway, I'm, I'm coming up to the elevator. This is, this is the danger of everywhere that I go, because I never know when the bowels are just going to erupt, you know. So luckily, you know, I got the diaper on, and uh, so they're cutting loose before I get in the elevator just after I had continental breakfast. Then I'm coming up, you know, and, uh, and, and I'm pooping, pooping, pooping in the elevator. I'm thinking, oh, God, please don't let anything, you know, get out of the diaper. But, but it just kept coming and coming and coming and coming. So then, uh, you know, I put the trash can out here. Um, I, I had to, I didn't even know the diapers kind of filled with all of the cell, cellulose. And uh, 
I mean, and then it just kept coming. <laughs> and so, so it got, got all, I mean, my shorts were just, oh God. So now I'm down to one pair of pants and one pair of shorts and noth, nothing to wear. So I got to go down to the laundromat again and just wash this shirt by itself and uh, I'll throw the shorts. I got, I got all the, man, it took me about a half an hour to get all the poop out of the shorts. And, uh, and then, of course, if you look at the chair, luckily, you know, like I told you, I've got these um, these mats that you see right over here, and I keep them on everything, and uh, that protected the, the chair so I don't have to clean the chair. But, I mean, I, I don't even understand it. You know, I'll go, I'll go three, four, five days, and then all of a sudden, I mean, just an uncontrollable gush of, of, of poo and liquid and just, I mean, oh, my God. So I, 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 anyway, I got a nice shower. I'm nice and clean. Uh, I only got one big splotch of poo here on the floor. And then, of course, I had to call the hotel. It's humiliating because trying to get through that door, it was dripping down onto the carpet. <laughs> so they had to come and shampoo the carpet. Of course, they got the door bolted open because I think they want to come in and inspect the room because I did tell them I'd like to have it cleaned. And, of course, I got to get some more linens because... Uh, anyway, and of course that bucket out there, the diaper with the poo all over it, you know, I got to keep the shorts. I would have just thrown the shorts away, but I, the only only fucking shorts that I got, <laughs> you know what I mean? When you only got one shirt and two pairs of shorts that you can wear, well, well I got the long pants there, you know, but if it's supposed to be like a hundred degrees today, I'd rather, I, at least I got one more pair of shorts. All right, that's it. Peace out. Stay free.